Useful tech education and gaming nostalgia that won't put you to sleep. Get subscribed and turn on notifications so you won't miss the next guide. I'm Apples Box here to make tech easier and more fun, and you've just watched some footage from the Rei. I've already got to look this back up. YK752. This is another Asian manufactured uh, capture solution for your cameras, for your game consoles, and so on. This is a pretty versatile capture card with a pretty competitive price point for what it does, and I've had a good time checking it out. Also worth mentioning real quick that all of the footage you are seeing right now in terms of my on-camera presence and the gameplay is recorded with the Rei capture card itself. So I'm using it right now to record my face. The B-roll, of course, is just recorded in the cameras as I shoot, but on-camera stuff right now using Amarek to record my face. Ooh, and I almost forgot to mention we are doing a giveaway for this capture card. Stay tuned towards the end to hear about that. This Rei capture card is a little, it's basically a cam link competitor. It's a little UVC capable capture card, really small, has a micro USB 3.0 connection on one end, HDMI on the other, so no pass through. It can accept signals up to 4K 30 FPS, but the, the capture resolution is only 1080p 60. FPS and you can't you can't pull 4k from it, but that's fine for a 1080p 60 Basically cam link competitor It's cheaper than Elgato's option and as far as I can tell it's just as good Other than the software requirement, which I will touch on in a minute So it's small sleek black made of plastic in the box You get a user's manual and then two OTG or on-the-go adapters for mobile devices uh, micro USB to USB and a USB C to USB 3 I only have two phones I can test with this, my Samsung Galaxy Note 5, which would use the micro USB adapter, and then this loaner unit of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro, which would use the USB-C adapter. On both phones, I had issues. On the Huawei Mate 10 Pro via the USB-C adapter, all I got was a glitchy mess. It still had the microphone audio from the camera, but it was just a complete glitchy mess. It wasn't, like, usable at all. You know, there was no actual footage there. On my phone, the video showed up perfectly. It looked great. It was easy to record worked but there was no audio coming through and it the it, you can only do this via their cloner alliance app that they recommend there's a couple of capture cards listed as cloner alliance on amazon as well so it must be one of the companies that participate here but it lets you access the on the go on the go adapter uh, neither bitstream nor the default camera app would recognize the usb device i don't know if they're supposed to through the cloner alliance app you can record you can live stream and you can even do picture in picture so i got a couple seconds here of me doing picture in picture with the front camera and the rei capture card pulling in that worked like i said other than the audio suddenly wasn't coming through as well maybe bandwidth issue since it's only usb 2 not quite sure in the box you also get of course the micro usb 3.0 cable and a cd with the drivers which you need because there's also a license key on the manual this is my only other major complaint before we get back to the good stuff is I can't stand it when you have software that comes purpose-built for a piece of hardware that there is no point to pirating or redistributing because it has no other use and they make you use a license key because that means if you lose it, you won't be able to use it. That rhymed. <laughs> and that means that, you know, there, there's just potential compatibility issues. Just minor annoyance there. Not a huge deal. I did have I do have some troubles getting it to recognize without despite being a supposedly a UVC capture card which can work with Mac, Windows and Linux and of course smartphones, I did have some issues getting it to recognize on computers without installing their software and driver and that is unfortunate. If it's going to be a UVC capture card, it does need to be recognized with default UVC drivers not installing their stuff. So that was a little annoying and then when you do get it installed it shows up as live stream video device which is as generic and useless as possible if you're in a workflow with multiple capture cards which if you're using a cam link-esque thing you might be install that and you're good to go it works fine in obs it works fine in amarec and other recording software windows 10 camera app of course uh, you have access to an mjpeg stream and a uh, yui2 capture stream for the uncompressed access which is what i'm using now here in amarec and it's working great uh 
So it works, it's compatible with everything. It, it does not have a built-in scaler, unfortunately, or probably a deinterlacer. You'll have to rely on your software to deinterlace or do the scaling or your hardware accelerated encoding. That's fine. Like there, there may be an issue as with the cam link where if you have 1080i specific capture cards and you're trying to offload as much, you know, work from your computer as possible, might be a minor issue there if you're using a bunch of 1080i cameras, but otherwise it actually 1080i is actually more compatible with this device than Elgato's cam link. It's very low latency. I believe it's quite close to uh, Elgato's latency. The quality is actually really, really good. Recording here with my Panasonic G7 over HDMI at 1080p60 with a light 800 ISO. One, uh, we're at 1080p60, so one one twenty fifth of a second exposure. Looks pretty dang good. And my focus may not even be exact on my facial hair here, but pretty close. I've been pretty happy with it. Worked fine with my Xbox One, worked fine with my PS4 Pro. Threw game consoles at it, you saw the clips. Things worked great. And pretty good value for the price. It's got ventilation on the sides. Get a, gets a little warm, but nothing too hot, nothing too crazy, nothing problematic or anything like that. And yeah, I <laughs> had a good time with it. I have done all of my testing here within Windows. I tried loading it up on a Mac VM and just got a black screen, but I don't know if capture cards at all would work on there since it's a VM and there's no graphics drivers for it. I'm still working on that situation and I haven't had time to test Linux just yet. Ah, uh, I'm working on, I'm, I'm basically going to do a big video testing all of the capture cards that I've reviewed on Linux together. So stay tuned for that in the near or distant future, but I'm getting to it and everything went pretty well with it. I have mostly positive things to say about it. So check out product link in the video description. If you'd like to get one for yourself, it's about 20 bucks cheaper on average than the sale price for the Elgato cam link, which makes it a very good value for what they offer. And it's fairly easy to use as long as you install their software. Speaking of which, Need to mention, they do come with their own software, which is a good and bad thing about them including the driver CD, is you do get access to their UX player software, which is all right, nothing amazing. Uh, it does limit capture resolutions to 18 megabits per second, I think, for 1080p, which for some games can make it really dark and you start to see compression blocking. And they have a couple neat options in there. Uh, so if you are looking for a software to use for it, that's a complaint I see often about these capture cards that are made to use with third-party software is, why didn't they include software for it? They include software for it in this one. So if that's something you're looking for, this will be great. And I almost left out the giveaway details. There will be a Gleam.io link for a limited time in the description below. If you'd like to win a giveaway of this capture card for yourself, go check that out. Go sign up, get entered, and maybe you'll win one for free and you won't have to make the decision to buy it. But yeah, go check it out. Otherwise, yeah, that's it. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Get subscribed for more awesome tech content. And I've got a playlist of a plethora of capture card reviews in the description down below. I'm Eples Vox. I'll see you next time. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Our videos would not be possible without the generosity of those of you who contribute to one of our fan funding options. Be it donor box, Twitch subscriptions, direct contributions via PayPal, or Patreon. To join our inner circle and get behind the scenes looks at videos, go to eposvox.com slash support to learn more and join us on Discord at eposvox.com slash Discord. Thanks.